Uh, we have this breaking news out of Google Parent Alphabet. The tech giant's healthcare division, it's called Verily, says it has to halt and put on hold its glucose sensing contact lens. An early research project to help those suffering from diabetes better manage their disease by putting, imagine this, sensors on contact lenses to measure glucose levels. The problem was that measuring glucose levels through tears, coming through your tear ducts, not the same as measuring from your actual blood. Shares of Alphabet are pretty much flat right now. Again, they're not canceling it, they're putting it on hold, and they do this with Novartis. While this news underscores the real difficulty for testing glucose levels in diabetes patients, our next guest has found success that Alphabet has yet to find. Meet Eversets, pretty much a game-changing technology in terms of monitoring glucose levels, but there's a catch. It's the only FDA-approved long-term implantable sensor that provides real-time data. Yes, it's implanted under your skin. In a Fox Business exclusive, Sensionic CEO, the company that makes it, Tim Goodnow, is going to show us and tell us how it works. 10%, 8 to 10% of the population suffers from diabetes. This could be an unbelievable game changer. How does it work? Well, Liz, uh, thanks for having us. It's a very exciting technology, as you said. The thing to keep in mind about managing your disease with diabetes is the fact that it is long-term and chronic. So anytime you look for any improvement in that, you're trying to make people's lives easier. So that's what we approached with the, the implantable product. The, the value behind it is just as you said, you put it in under the skin and you forget about it. So that whole ability to make your life easier is what we're trying to enable with that sensor. So, so we, a doctor implants it, and we're gonna show all of this on camera here. Doctor implants it, and then you put a sensor over it, is that correct? Right, we call it the transmitter. The doctor now does it hurt to be implanted? What's the size of it? it it's very small, it's, think of it as a couple of grains of risotto rice. So it goes just under the skin, we typically put it in the back of the arm, and then a transmitter goes over the top of it, and that's how we talk to the cell phone. Okay, the cell phone, and I'm assuming that's an app. This isn't an Apple app, this is your app, correct? It, it, it's our app, but you can get it at either through the Android, through the Google Play, or you can get it at the Apple Store as well. So when so. the sensor and the subcutaneous um, device ever sense, uh, sense that you need some insulin, it then sends a note to your phone? What it'll, it'll send your glucose level to your phone, exactly. So where that's most important is think about it, eight hours a day, for many people, you're actually sleeping. Right, so what it'll actually do is it'll alarm you and say you're going really high, you're going really low. So the advent of these new continuous glucose monitors has been really important in the last decade. I find it fascinating that you don't have to be the only one who's on the app. In fact, your mom or your parents or somebody you care about who cares about you can also be in the alarm sensing app as well. Correct? That's exactly right. You're able to do that. In fact, a lot of people will monitor just to make sure. Sometimes you need to call, sometimes you need some extra help. Somebody living alone, it's really important for. Kind of had a nightmarish uh, attempt, you know, trying to get this through the FDA regula regulatory red tape. Everybody has this problem with medical devices. It takes a long time. Uh, Scott Gottlieb, Dr. Scott Gottlieb, yes. has been here. He is the new head of the FDA, and he says he wants to get rid of the red tape. Do you sense that there was a difference between the previous FDA chief and, and Gottlieb, and, because it was June, I believe, that you got your approval, correct? We did. We were in, uh, in front of the agency for about 22 months. Mm -hmm. So it's a relatively long process that you go through. But we do see a pretty receptive uh, FDA today, quite frankly, right? Along through the process, they were able to give us a lot of feedback and information as to what we needed to do which resulted in a positive panel meeting. So we feel good about how the process went. This company, um, the ticker symbol is Sense, Sensionics. You know, it's, it's publicly traded. It is a, a small cap, Correct. about half a billion. Um, as, you, as you look to expand, how much revenue as a business network do you see coming from this? To me, when you have this many people, 100 million adults suffering from some type of diabetes or pre-diabetes, I'm looking at a lot of uh, revenue here. How much are you charging for this? And uh, I believe it has to be changed out every three months? Every three months for the, for the U.S. version of the product, we'll be bringing the European version, which is already out to 180 days, to the United States here in a couple of years as well. So the area of continuous glucose monitoring is about $10 a day is what a payer, the insurance companies, will pay for you to have the, the continuous glucose monitoring. So it's about a... Uh, a little bit over a $2 billion market now and growing pretty fast because of this excitement and the advent of the changes. What's the risk of infection? The risk of infection is quite low. It is about 0.7% in our product, and that just comes from the natural breaking of the skin barrier. I look at this and I say bravo to you and your developers and your team. 
this could be amazing for so many people. I hope they hear about it. Thank you. They're are the insurers paying for it? The insurers are starting to pay for it. We just had a great win with Aetna just a couple of weeks ago. One of the top five is now covering us, so we're excited about that progress and looking forward to making more of that. Congratulations. Timothy Goodnow, thank great. you so very much. We appreciate it. The company is called Sensionics. Right. Thank you. Eversense is the product itself.